Om Magyana Tumaranda Sia Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksurun Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vanchakalpata Rupyascha Kripasendu Bhayavacha Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnavi Bio Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasa de Gaur Bhaktavinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're celebrating this very important festival Govardhan Puja The hill of Govardhan is glorified by the gopis even of Vrindavan Although Chaitanya Mahaprabhu declared the gopis of Vrindavan to be the best of all devotees, the gopis themselves, they glorify the hill of Govardhan. This is seen in the, if you go to Srimad Bhagavatam, 10th canto, chapter number 21, and there, text number, I think it's text number 18, there's a verse, Hantayam Adrira Abali Haridasavarya Yad Rama Krishna Charanas Parasha Pramoda. Like this, uh, the gopis are saying that of all the devotees, this Govardhan hill is the best. And the gopis say this hill supplies Krishna and Balaram along with their calves, cows and cowherd friends, with all kinds of necessities. Water for drinking, because in the time of Lord Krishna, 5,000 years ago, there were wonderful waterfalls coming down the slopes of Govardhan. And the cows would drink the water there. The cowherd boys would also refresh themselves, washing their hands and face, and drinking sometimes the water also. And there's wonderful grass also, very soft grass which grows on the slopes of Govardhan. The grass is so important for the cows. Remember Krishna's in taking care of the cows along with, on, on behalf of his father, Nanda Maharaj. Nanda Maharaj has a large herd of cows, 900,000 cows. So Lord Krishna has to worry about making sure they have enough grass and water. That's all the cows want. They want nice grass and water. They drink a lot of water. So Krishna would take the cows sometimes to the Yamuna. They could drink the water from the Yamuna. And sometimes they drink the water from the waterfalls coming down the Govardhan hill. And the grasses on the hill of Govardhan very succulent, very special, which would uh, allow the cows to give more and more wonderful milk from their milk bags. And then Govardhan Hill also has caves there, which are places for the pastimes of Krishna. Sometimes, sometimes it will rain and Krishna and the cowherd boys can take shelter in the cave. And sometimes they'll feel the heat and they'll take shelter from the hot sun and go in the cave. So there are some caves there on the Govardhan Hill. And then there's also fruits and flowers and vegetables, which would all grow wild there on the slopes of Govardhan Hill. So not only did Govardhan provide all of these wonderful things for the cows, but the Govardhan Hill of course, provided shelter when Indra became proud and he sent his clouds to inundate Vrindavan. So at that time, the whole of Vrindavan became very dark and cold. And then there was ice falling from the sky. There were balls of ice coming down. So all the people of Vrindavan, they came to Lord Krishna for shelter. And that time Lord Krishna picked up the Govardhan hill and held it up for seven days and nights. 
and he picked it up with the little finger of his left hand and he called all the gopis and all the people of Vrindavan and they brought all the cows and they were all under the shelter of Govardhan Hill for seven days and they didn't feel any hunger or thirst. They were so happy just to be with Lord Krishna. They were happy to be with Lord Krishna. Usually they never got the chance to be alone with Krishna. The young gopis, of course, the, their mothers would be very, keep them always engaged and keep them busy and, and tell them not to go where the boys are. So the gopis, they always wanted to be with Krishna. And when Krishna picked up the Govardhan Hill, at that time, all the gopis could be with Krishna for seven days and nights continuously. Lord Krishna was also happy to be with them. So this was one of the, the transcendental arrangements of this Govardhan Hill, picking up the Govardhan Hill, that it gave Lord Krishna this opportunity to be with his great devotees and they could be with Krishna. Now, why was it that Indra had become so angry? Of course, it, it happened that Lord Krishna had convinced his father, Nanda Maharaj, not to do the Indra Yagya. Every year, the people of Vrindavan were worshipping Indra. And Lord Krishna was not very happy to see them worshipping some demigod. Because he knows people of Vrindavan they're his devotees, and he wants to see them engaged in pure devotional service. Lord Krishna wanted to see the, de the people of Vrindavan engaged in pure devotional service. He didn't like the idea that they are worshipping a, a demigod, especially some demigod who's proud. So Lord Krishna arranged for this uh, incident. He stopped the people from worshipping the go from worshipping Indra and he told them just worship the cows and the Brahmanas. The cows and the Brahmanas and the Govardhan Hill itself. They're the ones who are actually providing everything for you. Lord Krishna even spoke about the Karma Mamsa philosophy, which is not really pure it's not our philosophy, but Lord Krishna spoke it just to convince his father, no need to worship Indra, just worship Govardhan Hill and the cows. And Nanda Maharaj said, well, we can do both. But Krishna said, no, 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 there's not enough time. And I will need everything for worshiping Govardhan Hill. We want to worship the Govardhan Hill elaborately. And so they prepared many wonderful different foodstuffs. The Lord Krishna described all the different foodstuffs he wanted prepared, you know, sweet rice and halava and rasgulas and sandesh and samosas and kachoris and so many different varieties of foodstuffs are meant to be prepared and offered to Govardhan Hill and pakoras and chutneys and and we should you should make it all in the form of a hill, rivers of chutneys and mountains of sweet balls and stones like Govardhan made of sweet balls, and offer everything to Govardhan Hill. And so it happened when Nanda Maharaj and the people of Vrindavan were offering everything to the Govardhan Hill. At that time, the Govardhan Hill personally appeared and began to eat everything. I began to eat everything and he was asking the people, bring more, any or, any or, bring more. And they would bring more and bring more and Govardhan would eat and eat and he'd devour everything. And they were a little worried how we ever can satisfy him. And so then they remembered, oh, we have to put tosi. And as soon as they put some tosi flowers with manjaris on, and offered it to the Govardhan. At that time, then the Govardhan belched, and and it was understood that now he's satisfied. So this way, the Govardhan puja is performed, 
and it's customary for the devotees to create a nice mountain of prasadam and to distribute the prasadam to everyone. No one should go hungry on this day. The temples everywhere, they distribute prof profuse amounts of prasadam to everyone. So the, the Govardhan Puja is a very wonderful festival. We try to offer this uh, as a message to, a, a, a service to Lord Krishna. Encourage everyone, take the shelter of Lord Krishna, just as the people of Vrindavan got the shelter from Lord Krishna under the Govardhan hill. We pray we can also get the shelter of Lord Krishna under the Govardhan hill and under his lotus feet. And we pray that we can remember this wonderful pastime of Lord Krishna picking up the hill and protecting all the cows. And after he picked up the hill, then uh, Indra realized he was, after seven days of pouring torrents of rain and thunder and lightning on Govardhan, Indra finally admitted defeat. And he realized who Lord Krishna was. He understood that Krishna was none other, none other than the Supreme Lord and Master of, the, of everything. And so he thought, I should go and apologize. But Lord Brahma suggested to him, you better take Surabi with you because she's the mother of cows. And the cows are very dear to Lord Krishna. He's, Lord Brahma said, if you go on your own, Lord Krishna won't, he won't even speak to you. He won't want anything to do with you. And so Indra went with Surabi and they offered prayers to Lord Krishna, wonderful prayers. And, and then at that time, they performed Abhishek, Abhishek of Lord Krishna and they created the Go Govinda Kund. There's a Govinda Kund there today. And they say that water is the Abhishek water, which was there from bathing Lord Krishna. So there are many wonderful pastimes in relation to the Govardhan Hill. We, we just, just introduced a, a f them briefly to you today. So I hope everything goes well in your festival. And I hope to see you all again sometime soon. Hare Krishna, Srila Prabhupada ki jai, Govardhan Hill ki jai, Giriraj Govardhan ki jai.